So today we're going to use height fields to create our bases in World Creator. So I'm in Terrain Party. I'm going to download a height field from Hawaii, uh, top of a volcano. So in Terrain Party, you just have that square that comes up when you first launch it. And you just want to drag that anywhere on the world map. And we're going to go to the big island in Hawaii and we're going to zoom in and pick the top of a volcano in uh, Hawaii. So I'm just trying to position the uh, square to see where exactly I want to download. So we just want to figure out exactly where to go and if you click on the map view you can change to a shaded relief so you can see a little more of the topographic uh, details of the terrain or you can go to topographic imagery which combines satellite data with actually topographic uh, information in terms of the actual elevation height. So right now we're at 18 kilometers for the size of the square. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to download first. So the volcano is Maui Lawa, 18 kilometers. And we'll basically just save that out. So you download a zip and exported it here. And then let's change the scale down to 10 kilometers and do it again. And I'm just trying to get different uh, scalings for each of these depending on what I want to do afterwards. And then now let's do one more. And we'll go down to the smallest uh, size, which is 8 kilometers in Terrain Party. And then the largest kilometer scale you can do is 60 kilometers. And what you can see is we've got five different uh, terrains and each of various resolutions. And we're going to focus on the 10 meter uh, resolution that is the largest for the scale so it is the closest so now we'll open up world creator and begin bringing in this data that we got from terrain.party so here's to world creator launch so let's magnify and basically what we want to do is we need to zero out the base terrain that comes in so right now I want to change the terrain width and length to the 8,000 uh, kilometers for the last uh, terrain party map that we imported. And then if you click edit curve and then if you increase the radius size of your brush and left click you're basically deleting the curve data on the base terrain. So now we're left with a flat um, plane basically to then import our um, height field. So if you click on the areas tab and add an area and then now we're going to make it to the same size 8000 by 8000 units and then just click fit to terrain size in case. I'll up the resolution to 2048 and I'll talk about that in a second. And then you want to click has height map and then what we want to do is basically zero out everything so that there is no gradation of uh, alpha around the edges of our terrain so that no border blend range so we want it to one there's zero information there want to lock the edges of the area map so it can't move and then you want to just file import that 8k uh, 8,000 kilometer map that we downloaded so we just navigate and get to that. And then like we said, we want to use the 10 meter. Uh, that's the closest one that we have. And now you can see we have a little bit of information on the top of the crater. So what we need to figure out now is the precision is uh, 1 meter right now for, you know, by 8,000 by 8,000. And then what we need to do is figure out the height scale. So right now the height scale is at 1. So we need to go back to the Google Maps and left click and have it turned on to terrain. So we're basically back at this topographic 
view and what we're looking for is the elevation data for a portion of the height field so that we can uh, go back to world creator so I need to convert the from feet to meters so in meters that crater is at 4023 and then uh, if we turn on our observer tools E for elevation you can see if we trace over the edge on that same region uh, we're basically looking at like a 54 meter elevation in world creator so what we want to do is convert so 4023 divided by 54 is 74.5 and that's going to be our height scale so 74.5 and you can see it is uh, much much bigger and that's because we're on the curvature of the top of the volcano so now we just want to add filters to give some resolution back into this height field so what I want to do is I'll add a ridged filter and basically you can just mess with any of the parameters I'm going to lower the general strength on it then add a erosion fluvial to eat into the map and then again just mess with the general strength you can mess with any of these parameters um, I would just say mess with it on your own for whatever you want to add and it really comes down to what are you trying to do with this uh, terrain if you're trying to keep it uh, looking like the original source but you're just trying to add in surface detail so the main thing that we're getting from terrain.party is the maps are only uh, 1081 pixels by 1081 pixels and uh, so we're trying to add back in a little bit of detail without really changing the overall look of the map itself but if you are just using the terrain as a basis then you can add any of these filters and vastly change the look of the terrain so what I've done is I've added a little bit of ridge, erosion fluvial smooth and then erosion soft just to kind of go back into the um, the terrain and just kind of eat into it get a little bit of detail so the other thing to think about when you're doing this and it's a little weird is the filter level strengths um, those can get a little uh, confusing and basically what we want to do is make sure that on some of the filters you need to be careful like the erosions um, to basically have the capability of adding a little bit more detail so if you see down here we have use level steps checked and I'm at a level of seven but if we go into and there's our resolution so we go down to one meter per 1000 uh, per 8000 pixels so now you can see how it's resourcing the image a little better and then if we go to the erosion you can see that the last level strength which is eight it didn't have it was zeroed out so you wanted to add back in a little bit so again the erosion is something that you need to watch if you're not seeing any more fine detail and if you go from level two to level strength 1024 what you're seeing is a doubling in terms of how it's affecting so the strength level of those uh, filters are very important. The topmost, if you think about it, it's at a resolution uh, where if you slide it a little bit, you'll have massive changes in your terrain. And then as it gets lower, it's more subtle detail being uh, knocked back in. So once you get this file working for how you want it, you could save this out and be an eight kilometer uh, terrain.party uh, file that you can then swap out the height maps of any other location and use it as you know these layers where you've got a good looking piece and then now what you could do is just go back in and resize the terrain by meters for some of the other files that we've downloaded so let's say the 60,000 uh, uh, kilometer well six 
60 kilometers, so 60,000 meters uh, image, then we can just import it in. And then since we've already got these filters and they're live, they'll update based on the terrain data that we then put in, which is the reason I was saying just a second ago, we can use this file as a template now and import any files that we want to add resolution and then output through. So here you can see the same volcano, but now that we're no longer just on the ridge, we're now 60 kilometers worth of that area of the volcano with those filters applied. And if you wanted to, you could go back into this and add another layer of filters and even bring out more details or sculpt this in a little different fashion. And then now you could just export out whatever maps that you want.